Shalom Aleikum, Shalom Aleikum Hebrews, it's your boy Yahshua aka Mr. Skittles, broadcasting live. Today's topic will be the third dimension, being a prisoner in the third dimension. Okay, I'm going to try to make, to make it as short, but yet, st yet still uh, with as much continuity as I can. Okay, the third dimension, we exist in the third dimension. I see you in the third dimension. Um, there, there's another dimension, like the fourth dimension, where where you can feel something but you can't see it. Uh, uh, an example of that would be uh, wind <laughs> blowing your skin. For example, you can feel it, but you can't see it. You can feel it to prove that it's it coexists right now. It's here, just like I'm here, but you can see me. But it's here too, but you can't see it because it's in the fourth dimension. Anyway, time travel. An example of time traveling will be to say something like to yourself, um, I remember when I was three years old. And then you'll start to remind you, re rewind your mind back, back as far as you can go. Sometimes you may go to five or four years old because you remember something about you had a turtle. Your parent, you, somebody bought you a little turtle or something. That's traveling back in time. When we travel back in time, um, the tribe of Israel, um, sometimes we tend to uh, begin to be traumatized all over again. Traumatization. Traumatization keeps a person docile and uh, depressed and they just kind of just go along with the program, you know, because they've been traumatized. They, they, they will have been broken. And one way uh, that our government that we exist in in America, probably other governments too, I'm talking about America, they use uh, time traveling uh, to keep uh, the children of Israel uh, depressed and docile and and spirits broken. How they do it is they'll keep showing these movies every time in black history. You know, they sh our history is slave boats. They, they don't know, we don't have no beginning besides the slave boats, besides being taken off the West Banks of Africa. They have no history on us. You know, <laughs> in reality, our history date back to uh, King David, King Solomon, um, Abraham, uh, Israel, Ezekiel, you know, <laughs> when we were in our glory, but they have no history on on the American black people, um, as far as the roots, the roots movie, the roots, uh, and Amistad. And what they do is every year in February they say Black History Month. This is not our history. This is your y'all history. They show us these depressing movies, and what it does is it it psychologically traumatizes all over again. And we traumatize. We, you know, it's like it was yesterday all over again because it was like it was yesterday because you can feel it through your DNA, through your bloodline. You were there back in those days. Your grandfather was, and your grandfather had a son. He had a son. He had, and then became you from the same bloodline. Okay. On that note alone, we have to stop traveling back to the past to be refreshing again. To be depressed again, to be docile again, for our spirits to be broken again. We are the people of Israel. We are divine people. Our time don't keep going back and back. Our time is infinity. Look at the universe. You ever look up the universe? It don't stop. It's infinity. We are the children of the Most High. Exodus 4:22. Thus you shall, thus tell the Pharaoh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Thus says Jehovah. Yahweh or God. Anyway, Hebrews, like I said, we got to quit going back, watching them depressing movies, talking about how the white man is doing this. We got to think forward. Don't take yourself back in time. Don't keep showing yourself that old movie. We got to go forward. Shalom. Sorry.